السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم ٹو مائی یوٹیوب فیملی اینڈ آلسو ویلکم ٹو ایف ایف ایم پیک ٹیوٹوریل سیریز دا پریویس ویڈیوز آئی ول شو یو ہاؤ یو کین یوز ایف ایف ایم پیک وتھ فلٹر بٹ یو نو ڈیٹ دی کمانڈ آف دی ایف ایف ایم پیک از سملر ان آل لینگویجز ایف یو آر ورکنگ ان اینڈرائڈ ایف یو آر ورکنگ ان ونڈو اینڈ ایف یو آر ورکنگ ان کمانڈ پرام دی ایف ایف ایم ایم پیک commands remain same in all languages so here are the videos you will see how to extract audio from video how you can use ffmpeg to create video from single image and also i add the audio in this video and after that i will show you how you can create a video from multiple images then how you can extract images from the video and after that we will see how i can merge two videos and produce a new video and then in the last video i will show you how you can overlay an image to video so in today's video i will discuss ffmpeg options as we have a lot of options in ffmpeg so now start discussing these options so first of all you know that we have an option which is i which is used to give the input to ffmpeg command so how you can use this i will show you first of all if you want to create a video from some image so we have an image which is input so that's why we write this image with symbol i and i is nothing but input so just suppose i have an image whose name is image dot png so i write this image which is input because we want to create a video from this input so image is an input so that's why i write this input and write this dash i which where i represents this is input okay so now you can store this command to some variable and as you know it is the whole, the whole command is stored inside this columns so it is an string so that's why the data type is string and you can write any name here i write my command okay so now i store this whole command inside this command variable you can directly pass this command to ffmpeg dot execute function or you can store this input whole command as a variable and then pass this variable to execute function it's depend on you okay so now you want to create a video from this image so video is our output okay and we use dash y for the output and then you can give any name to your new created video which is our output my video and then you have to give the extension which is mp4 i hope you understand these four two options the first option is for input and the y option is the output so here is i and here is the y okay so now the next uh, option is dash f which is used for format if you want to give the image you have to write f image 2 which is which tells this is image format 
if you want to give the audio then you write f mp3 which shows the format which is audio okay so the next option is format the next option is concat so this option is used to combine something like if you want to combine two videos if you want to combine two audios if you want to combine two images so this concat is used to combine something and now the next option is dash d which is used to which is used for type if you want to create a video of 10 seconds then you use time 10 if you want to create a video of 15 second then you can use dash t 15 so t is the time after that we have an other option which is frame rate so this frame rate means how many images you want to display in one second so you can write frame rate 1 frame rate 2 by default it is set as 25 okay so after that you have a an option which is dash l it is used to show the license then you have a option which is H so this option is used to show the help it show help then you have an option for version which shows the version then you have the option of SS which is the start time so if you want to crop the video then you have to give the start time start limit and end limit so this SS is used to give the start limit then you have an other option which is VN which is used to disable the video like if you want to produce an audio from the video then you have to disable the video then this option is used similarly if you want to disable the audio from the video then you have to use this a and option then we have an other option which is a sync a syncs mean audio syncs and an other option which is v sync a sync we a sync which means video async and then you have this option which is loop it loop the images in the video and after that we have another option which is v dash volume and which is used to set the volume of the audio if you want to increase and decrease the uh, uh, volume then you have to use this wall option so here are some important options which are used in almost all commands in ffmpeg basically these options are used most now i will show you some examples to understand this whole process better first convert an image into video so we have a spring variable in which we store our command and then pass to ffmpeg execute so first we have an image let's suppose image dot mp oh sorry png then we have an video which is our output 
and you can give any name to your output because it's the name it's the name of the newly newly created video and you will see i give the output and i give the i give the input then if you want to give an audio means if you want to create a video with audio and image both then you have to give the audio and you know that audio is also an input so that's why i write i audio dot and b3 and then we have to give the format of this audio so we learn about the f option which is for format and format is mp3 so that in this way you can put the audio and the video and combine to produce this video and i also provide you the link in the description you will see here is the link for some other options so if you want more options you will see this link and here are a lot of options you can check this link and also you can check these videos so i hope you like this video please like comment and subscribe my channel and also share with your friends family inshallah see you soon allah hafiz